can open up your email account and you'll have tons of advertisements and things of that sort that you just don't want. But spam is much more than that. It's kind of like if you had junk mail come to your, to your house and when you open the envelope, a white powder exploded on you and somehow you become infected with something. Literally, that's what happens in, uh, in the cyber world. When those emails started to contain malicious material that would harm the computers and the companies that received them, then the criminal involvement in spam began to really take off. The Spam House Project was formed back in 1998 to do something about this, but it's had to develop as spam itself has developed and now is dealing with international spam as part of a cybercrime operation. One of the biggest changes that we've seen in cybercrime over the last 10 years is this move to merchantability. There's some estimates that place the proceeds from cybercrime bigger than the illegal drug trade. Spam actually funds cybercrime to a large extent. Uh, it's through spam that cyber criminals are able to monetize their botnets. Rustock was a very big and scary botnet. Whether it was sending out spam or sending out phishing scams, it really put all internet users at risk. I'd sent out an enormous amount of spam, in mean, the billions of spam messages a day, with an infection base for computers of up to 1.2 to 1.3 million infected computers. So it was a very big target in a very prolific spamming bot. Since we've identified counterfeit pharmaceuticals in the spam, which were violating Pfizer's trademark, and we also had the fake lottery scams, which purported to be from Microsoft and use our trademarks. We used trademark and copyright as the legal hook to get us a court, to give us seizure warrants, to go into these locations across the country and seize the servers that were hosting the botnet. One day, we suddenly saw the botnet Rustock disappear from the world stage. Our first thoughts were our equipment was faulty. After all, we'd never seen that before, but some cross-checking proved that, in fact, it wasn't the equipment that was faulty. The spam coming from the Rustock botnet suddenly went silent. Silent, that is, but for the silence to be somewhat shattered by shouts of joy worldwide as people realized that the most significant source of spam on the planet had suddenly ceased spamming. We didn't find out about Microsoft's involvement for a day or so, but when we did, it all became obvious why we couldn't know in advance. Pfizer, uh, which was involved with us, has indicated to us that they have seen a demonstrable decrease in the amount of counterfeit pharmaceuticals that they've seen on the internet as a result of the Roostock takedown. Stopping them from getting to our patients and, and marketing to the patients, if we can do it at the computers that never even shows up on their screen, that, that'd be the optimal. We must get as much evidence as we can in the process about who is involved, who has been turning a blind eye to their activities, and then we must ask government to do their part in the process. Now that the civil case is closed, and we're referring it to the FBI, and it will become the FBI's criminal case, but the $250,000 reward will remain in place. The only difference being that all tips now will be directed towards an FBI-specific email account so that they can now keep working on the case with any future tips that come in. Another important aspect of the operation is literally you know, notifying and cleaning these computers. Most of these individuals don't even know they're infected. And some of our partners, such as Cox Communications, really did a fantastic job in notifying and cleaning their customers. The feedback from our customers has been excellent. Uh, Microsoft has made it easy for them to download the malicious software removal tool and run it on their computer on their own. As a customer, the best way to protect yourself is to install required patches. Keeps your operating system up to date, keeps you as safe as possible. Waldeck, Roostock, are there others to come? Absolutely. We're not going to stop until uh, the people behind uh, these botnets that are affecting our customers and that are impacting our platform get the message that if you target our platform, we will target you.